Hello everybody, and this might be a slightly longer video than what you're used to, because today I'm going to be going through every single keyword in Magic, and you know that age-old age old debate on whether or not everything is either kicker or horsemanship? Well, I'm going to tell you which ones are kicker, which one's horsemanship, because obviously kicker is you pay, a, you pay a cost for something to happen. If you think it's an additional cost, hey, I don't make the rules. I paid the kicker cost. I get something I get I get something else so, uh, so technically playing a card is a kicker cost because you want to play the spell and you're paying the kicker cost of its mana cost and you get an effect uh, you're already casting the spell anyway horsemanship is obviously can't be blocked except by things with horsemanship it's evasion so let's just get into it things like death touch is a technically delayed kicker of removing a creature because it gets rid of the creature um, and it's not horsemanship because obviously it doesn't give an unblockable or evade something. No, it kills the opponent's creature if they choose to block it, meaning it's kicker. Defender is a horsemanship that gets around attacking. <laughs> it's okay, because obviously some of these I might have to stretch a little bit, but defender is horsemanship for attacking. You get you evade the attacking because it just it's holding strong but it's also it can also kind of be a kicker cost in a way of you're paying usually a discounted cost for a bigger health creature um, but at the cost of also not being able to attack so more health for not being able to attack sometimes good sometimes bad double strike is obviously horsemanship because it deals first strike damage which we'll get to first first strike down here is it's horsemanship it gets around but hits before the uh, before the normal combat damage and that's just horse that's the horsemanship you know evading possibly being able to evade the normal combat damage that's evasion double strike also deals both so it can deal first strike damage uh and normal combat damage so it can only be blocked by creatures with horsemanship. What? That sounds like horsemanship. Uh, enchanting is horseman. No, kicker, because you paid the cost to then to then enchant or equip onto it. Obviously, equip has a cost, so you, that is an actual kicker. You pay the cost, you get that effect. Enchant is. You pay the cost of mana cost. Uh, you pay the cost of putting it on a creature to then get the effect of what it's enchanting. Flash is a is horsemanship because you're getting around the need to play at sorcery speed with a lot of a lot of things because your creatures normally enter at sorcery speed. Flash is the horsemanship of like you know sorcery speed. Flying is horsemanship just in the air can only be blocked by creatures with flying and reach it sounds a lot like horsemanship oh excuse me haste is horsemanship it gets a uh, it evades the summoning sickness hexproof is horsemanship can't be targeted by creatures your I mean spells your opponent's control that's horsemanship can only be you know blocked by spells you control kind of deal uh, indestructible horsemanship for combat well, for combat damage destruction spells all that lifelink is kicker cost you pay the cost of dealing damage to gain the effect of gaining life huh hear me out this sounds pretty neat menace is just sometimes horsemanship can only be blocked by two or more creatures hey menace was pretty good <laughs> Uh, protection, obviously, horsemanship for, you know, what was it, uh, damage, yeah, damage enchant block target kind of deal, so it's horsemanship for all that of the certain color or just thing in general. Prowess is kicker, you pay the cost of playing a non-creature spell, you get the addition of plus one plus one. Reach is kind of reverse horsemanship, it can... It can block creatures with flying, which it would be like it can block creatures with horsemanship. Eh? Trample is um, uh, is 
kicker because you pay the cost of dealing excess damage to then get the effect of that excess damage is dealt to your opponent. It can also kind of be like horsemanship because it the excess damage gets around the toughness. I, it's weird. It, it's weird. Tra yeah, trample is just kicker. Trample is kicker. Uh, Vigilance is kicker as well. It deal. It's you pay the cost of attacking to have the creature basically untap or not tap. It it can also be horsemanship for tapping to attack. You can go either way. It's basically both. Now we got the weird ones. The this will take a second. Absorb is uh, X of the quantity of damage to prevent on the creature. So this is horse horsemanship for damage. It absorbs the damage, getting getting around, taking a lot of damage. Adapt creatures no one encounters on it. the so that is kicker. You pay the adapt cost. You get you get the effect of putting that many one encounters on it. Affinity is kicker. By playing more artifacts, you get the bonus of that card costing less. So the kicker cost is you playing artifacts, and well, you because usually affinity for artifacts is it? Yeah, yeah, affinity for whatever. So usually, if it's affinity for artifacts, the more artifacts you have in play, the less it costs. That sounds like a kicker. I mean, afterlife is a delayed kicker, you pay the well, no, it's not. You paid the cost of having the creature die, like sacrificing it, blocking, or uh, attacking with it, all that. And you get the effect of... Uh, you cre create that many 1-1 one -one spirits with flying. That's pretty neat. Aftermath. Oh, this is a paragraph. The peers on the instant sorcery split cards. Only one of the pair damages contains the aftermath ability. Para oh, is this the... A monkette? Yeah, the monkette stuff. So you pay the kicker cost of its cost on the card because you've already had to pay the cost to play the first half of it. So then you pay its kicker cost because that's the other the other cost on that part of the card to be able to play it from your graveyard, and then it's exiled. So that's like kicker. <laughs> Amplify it. Enters the battlefield to control and may reveal an number of creatures from the hand. And enters with X one encounters on it. Uh, kicker cost is revealing cards from your hand. You puts one encounters on them. Annihilator is your opponent's kicker cost. I attacked, so the so that's the kicker cost. I attacked. Then your opponent sacrifices creatures accordingly. That's the effect. And I so yeah, that's that was Annihilator. Ascend. Uh, it's the yeah rivals of Ixalan. You the kicker cost is having ten or more permanents, and then you get the effect, the ascend effect. Aura swap? What? Exchange aura with this ability with any aura in their hand. Kicker cost of returning it to your hand. Um, effect. Put an aura from your hand attached to that creature. That sounds pretty good. Oh my god. Bands. Like banding and band with others is technically horsemanship. It's a really bad version of horsemanship. But it's basically bands with others is like you know how you can block with multiple creatures what if you could do the same thing with attacking so it's like horsemanship getting around i don't even know why you'd want to band with others but it's horsemanship trust me on that one uh battle cry uh whenever it attacks all other creatures gets plus one plus one on turn kicker cost of attacking and added effect get plus one plus oh that's pretty good bestow is obviously a kicker cost you pay the cost the bestow cost to then get the effect of turning that thing into an enchantment that attaches uh, attaches to the creature bolster x is paying the you paid the cost to then choose the creature and it gets you choose the creature with the lowest power and you put that many one one counters on it that's pretty neat bloodthirst it opponent was dealt damage you and uh, you get that you pay the cost of dealing damage to an opponent to then get the added benefit of putting that many one one counters on it pretty good bushido is kicker the kicker cost of being blocked uh is blocking or become being blocked and then you get the effect of getting that many like the plus x plus x until end of turn which is pretty good 
buyback is a delayed it was yeah is a kicker cost because the kicker cost is the buyback cost and then you get the card back as the kicker cost uh cascade is a uh, is also a kicker cost get the kicker cost is revealing the top cards of your library to reveal non-land card that costs less and then the effect is you may cast it for free that sounds good champion is kicker you have to uh you have to sacrifice the creature or something you have, yeah champion the creature and then the effect is whenever that creature dies you get it back so cool fun changeling is horsemanship not kicker because that would be stupid <laughs> uh changeling is basically just gets all creature types meaning it if you can't be blocked by certain things gets around certain things this one's a little bit of a stretch but it's changeling for certain things some some cards only allow you to be blocked or can't target certain creature types it's a kind of horsemanship in the very niche scenario um it also can get targeted by uh different enchantments and things that care only about like humans or elves or things so helps uh cypher is a kicker cost you pay the kicker cost of putting it onto a car onto a creature whenever it deals combat damage to them you may cast it for free that's that sounds like a kicker cost uh the kicker cost of ciphering it onto a card and then whenever it deals combat damage to a player then you may cast it for free uh clash reveal each player reveals top card of their deck which one whichever ones cost more you win uh, the clash and something happens kicker cost revealing uh, revealing the top card of your library the effect is if you win something happens sounds pretty cool conspire what the heck is conspire additional cost of tapping two creatures that share a spell with it you can copy that spell kicker cost tapping you tapping two creatures that share a color with this spell and then you may copy and choose new targets that sounds like kicker convoke is just your creatures can pay the kicker cost so your creatures tap to then get the additional effect of the card costing less that's kicker crew is kicker your creatures tap to crew the vehicle and get an additional effect which is having your, that crewed vehicle now be, have uh, become a creature cumulative upkeep is just yeah the kicker every single turn if you want to keep that card you pay f you continuously pay for it for its effect every single turn cycle is the additional effect of sac of paying the probably two to discard it draw a new card or you know basic land cycling or something like that cycling is just kicker it'll always be kicker dash is the additional effect of it can enter it can attack as though it had haste and it bounces back to your hand you pay the dash cost you get the effect of it can it has haste and then bounces back to your hand um i believe that's dash yeah uh daybound nightbound that's an actual keyword all right so the kicker cost is either playing no spells or playing two or more spells and you transform it that's kicker delve is kicker for exiling cards from your graveyard to get the additional effect of playing it for less mana detain is horsemanship no it's kicker it you choose the creature it cannot attack block and activate its abilities that turn you so you have to so you pay the mana to target creature okay then gets the additional effect of not being able to attack or block and activate its abilities until your next turn that's a kicker it was rough but it was devour you have to pay the kicker cost of sacrificing as many creatures as you want and enters with one one counters on it equal to the amount of creatures it devoured that's a that's a kicker dredge is you could draw it so you pay the kicker cost of uh milling yourself that many to then be able to draw that card from your graveyard that's a kicker cost as well because you're paying the cost of milling that many the effect is you may draw that card from your graveyard instead echo is a delayed kicker you i believe you pay its mana cost now for an effect and then on the next turn right at the beginning of the controls upkeep yeah then you pay it again to 
keep that creature. Keep the effect. Drink break. Ah, cool. Embalm is from a graveyard. It's a character cost that then turns it into a zombie. Uh, that So yeah, you pay the character cost from your graveyard to then basically get a token copy of it that's a 4-4? Four, four? I believe it's almost always a 4-4. Four, four. I'm almost positive. It doesn't say in here. But yeah, and then you get it. Emerge is you pay the character cost of sacrificing creature and you get the effect of the card's cost is now disca discounted by how much mana the creature you sacrificed was. That's a kicker cost right there. Entwine is you can pay the additional cost of that entwine cost to then get both effects. That's just kicker. Epic is you pay the kicker cost of it of right you pay the epic cost and have the cost of not being able to play any more spells for the rest of the game but you get the effect of always being able to play this every single turn epic is a really bad mechanic by the way evolve is the uh, kicker cost of playing a creature with higher power toughness and you get the effect of putting one one counter on it because it was bigger Evoke is you paying the kicker cost of being able to basically flick it in and sacrifice in it, which is an additional effect. Because normally a creature would just enter, you get the effect, that's it. But with the evoke cost, you pay that additional cost to have it enter and then immediately sacrifice. Exalted is have paying the cost of only attacking with one creature to then get it, you know, like give it a little boost, usually plus one plus one. Yeah. Exert is paying the cost of it doesn't untap during its untap step for the added bonus of whatever the card says. Exploit is sacrificing the creature for its kicker cost to then get an additional effect that's on the card. Explore is you uh, pay the kicker cost of reeling top of your library. The effect is either, you know, land or whatever you put on top or send it to the graveyard. It's a kicker. Kicker cost. Extort is a you can consistently use the play the kicker cost to deal one damage to each opponent you gain life equal to the amount of life they lost fabricate uh it's better if you put x1 counters on it creates or creates x servo tokens uh you ch pay the kicker cost of choosing choosing one of the options and you get the effect of either creating servos or put one one counters on them fading uh d -d 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 you pay the kicker cost of its mana cost to no of putting the fading counters on it and then later on has the additional effect of you have to sacrifice it if you if yeah you just later on have to sacrifice it fate seal when you stop x cards of the opponent's deck if they put any number of those cards on the bottom of that player's deck it's a functioning scry on the opponent's deck that sounds like kicker horsemanship one of those sorry i'm really tired <laughs> um I, I understand that it's like 11 in the morning for me right now but like some of these some of these are weird you know what i might just come back to that one that one's weird uh flanking you're blocked by a creature without this ability the blocking creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn uh that is horsemanship obviously uh you get a minus for literally blocking it it can't really be blocked or it's kicker because uh the kicker cost is blocking it and the effect is you get minus one minus one it's it's kicker everything is kicker flashback from your graveyard pay the kicker cost you can play from your graveyard that's the bonus um flip is like a transform whatever it kicker cost of usually what it takes to flip it and then the effect is you get to flip it Shut up, Hearthstone. Nobody cares about you. Uh, forecast. The player's upkeep. If you have a player with forecast in hand, they may pay the forecast cost to activate its forecast. That's a... You pay its forecast cost. That's pretty neat. That's like kicker. And then you get the additional effect of the forecast part of it. Fertel is a delayed kicker. So you pay its kicker cost now. And then you can pay its... Well, you can pay an effect to then be able to later pay a probably discounted effect to then have the effect i just said effect like a lot but it's it's foretell fortify is horsemanship 
No, it's kicker because it's like equipment, but for lands. I hated for Wasn't it only a one card? This single time shifter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, frenzy. It's just for that frenzy sliver. Whatever. It's horse. It's kicker because you attack and not get blocked to get the ability of getting plus X plus zero until end of turn. Graft is a kicker cost because you have to play the creature. It gets you paid for the you paid for the card. Um, the kicker cost is getting a zero zero, and then the effect is putting X one one counters on it, where X, X is equal to the graft. Grave storm is like storm but from the grave um so that is a you paid the you paid the kicker cost of playing more cards to then get the additional effect of being able to copy this spell haunt is kicker you have to have that creature die or something happen to then put the haunt card onto the creature and you get the additional effect of i think whenever that creature dies something happens it's weird some of the some of the cards with haunt was were whack hideaway is kicker you reveal that many cards from the top of your library you put one under the hideaway card and then later you get the effect of if something happens you may cast that card that hideaway card for nothing horsemanship it's horsemanship yay in fact is kicker you know, you pay the cost of dealing combat damage to a player, and the effect is they get that many poison counters instead. Jumpstart is kicker cost. You can uh, dis you discard a card, pay the cost, and you can cast it from your graveyard. That's pretty good. I actually like a lot of the jumpstart cards. They're pretty cool. And you get the effect of being able to play from your graveyard. Kicker is kicker obviously level up is a delayed kicker you could do it multiple times to then level it up to get more and more different effects living weapon is a kicker ability because you paid the cost to get out you the equipment and the effect is it creates a zero zero that immediately has the weapon attached to it the equipment attached to it madness is an alternate kicker cost instead of uh, it, instead of discarding it, you could pay its madness cost, its kicker cost, mind you, and you get the effect, the madness effect. Uh, manifest is you pay the cost of exiling the top, well, I mean, getting a 2-2 two -two from the top of your library, which is face down, and you may pay its, you may pay its cost on the front of it to get, to flip it over if it's a creature. It's like kicker but it's it's normal casting cost meld is you take kicker cost of having those two creatures out on on the field and then its additional effect is they flip and combine because you have to have those two specific creatures out for them to switch and jam together mentor is you have to have you pay the kicker cost of attacking with two creatures one of which has mentor that has higher toughness i mean higher power yeah then you put a woman counter on another tech creature with lesser power that sounds like fun miracle is an alternate kicker cost if it's the first card you drew that turn modular is a kicker cost of you get the zero zero and you put that many woman counters on it i really like modular i'm making a popper modular deck soon sounds like fun Monstrosity is a kicker cost you could play while the creature's already out. You get that many one-one counters. Morph is just like Manifest. You pay the cost to put it down face down. And then it's the same with Mega Morph. You can then flip it over for its other kind of kicker cost to then get an additional effect. Multi-kicker is just kicker, but multiple times. Uh, mutate, you can put it over or under. That is a basically like an enchantment, which is a kicker cost because you have to pay the cost of attaching it to a creature, and then they get the effect. Ninjutsu, uh, ninjutsu is just kicker, and is slightly horsemanship too, because it gets around things. Even though it's it has to be not blocked, uh, you can pay its kicker cost, its ninjutsu cost, to then and returning that creature to your hand, and that enters tapped and attacking. But it can't. But it's not blocked, so it's fun. Offering, instant, but it must sacrifice a creature of the state type and pay the difference in mana equal, between. Uh, sure. A di uh, do something like sacrificing a creature for an alternate cost. That's kicker. 
Overload is literally kicker. It just changes how the text works. So you pay the co overload cost for the text to change. Persist is the kicker cost of having a creature in your graveyard targeting that creature and its effect is returning it back to the battlefield. Poisonous is... It deals poison damage to it? Yeah, kicker cost of having to deal combat damage to a player. I don't think they get that many poison counters. Fun fun. Populate is you... Is it the token one? Yeah, and proliferates the other one. These are both the effect of choosing your, choosing your targets for the cost, and you get the effect of getting additional ones. Fun. Provoke is basically like goading in a sense um they not able to block the creature with provoke. the ability can choose a creature that is not able to block the creature with provoke. oh no it untaps and forces the block which is forceful horsemanship in a way or it's a kicker cost it's kind of both because you get kicker cost of untapping the creature and the effect of it has to block that creature Prowl is an alternate cost. Uh-oh, that's horsemanship. I don't even want to read the rest of it. That's an alternate uh, cost, meaning it's a kicker. Rampage is becomes blocked. Creature gets plus X plus X for each creature behind the sign blocker. Oh, that sounds like kicker. The kicker cost is your opponent's blocking it, and you get a bonus. Rebound, like on Ephemerate and things, is the kicker cost of exiling it and then beginning your next upkeep you cast it for free again uh recover player's graveyard on the battlefield all cards with recover in that player's graveyard tree what whatever creatures put into graveyard oh i mean then play the cards recover cost the card is paid pay the recover cost to then get an additional effect from your graveyard that sounds like kicker reinforce pay its reinforcement cost put x1 counters on a target creature Oh, it's morning tide stuff, whatever. Yeah, you pay an additional cost, put X1 counters on a creature. Renown is kicker cost of dealing damage to an opponent, and they get 1-1 one -one counters. That's an additional effect. That's a kicker. Replicate is can pay replicate cost for additional stuff. Kicker, pay additional cost, get more re replicates of the replicate card. Retrace is like flashback, but you have to discard a land in order to do so. Kicker cost, discard a land, pay its mana cost, and you get an additional effect from the graveyard. Riot enters with one encounter or haste. You choose one of those effects as your kicker cost, and you get the effect of either one of those, the one that you chose. Ripple is the cost of... Tur is it... You can cast it free? Yes. Is the cost of the ripple cost... And then the effect is you could choose a card that's the same name as the card that you just cast for free, which is good, especially with stuff like Relentless Rats and Ripple, oh, big boys. Scavenge is the cost of being in your graveyard. You pay the scavenge cost, scavenge, and then you put that many woman counters on target creature that's already on the field. That's the effect. Uh, Shadow is horsemanship, obviously. It gets around. You can only block and be blocked by creatures of the shadow. Soulbound is a horsemanship kicker cost. Kicker, because you target the creature as the kicker effect, and then you get the additional effect of both the creatures now have the soulbound ability. That state is stated on the card. Soul shift is put in the graveyard from the battlefield's return a spirit card. Uh, you play the card. You choose a creature, a spirit, from your graveyard, and you put it into your hand. Additional effect. Boom. Spectacle is pay the alternate cost for the same card. Sounds like a kicker ability. Um, or it kind of, in a way. Uh, splice, uh, splice onto it, like splice into arcane. You may pay an additional cost to then basically infuse it onto a card that's already on the stack. Split second is a horsemanship because it dodges everything else from the stack. It can only be countered by nothing, by things that don't use the stack. Yeah, which is weird and slightly important. Storm is obviously you play a bunch of other cards to then get the additional effect of copying the card with Storm. Sunburst enters with one counter on it if a 
creature or charge count otherwise for each different colored mana uh you have the kicker cost of paying different colored mana to get the additional effect of entering with one counters on it support is put a one one counter on up to end target creatures pay the support cost of choosing those creatures i mean pay the kicker cost of choosing those creatures and the additional effect of putting the one one counters on them surveil is kicker cost of look at the top that many cards at the top of your library and the effect is you can either put them back on top or in your graveyard suspend is the alternate cost to then put them in exile with that many time counters on it and eventually you can basically cast it for free totem armor is horsemanship for death because you put it you put it on the creature and then the next time they die they say no and the totem armor uh, aura gets discarded anyway so it gets around death which sounds like horsemanship transfigure uh so you pay an alternate cost to what is it no, that's transmute. Uh, sacrifice to just search the deck for a creature with the same converted mana cost? Yeah, it's the same thing as transmute. You pay the alternate cost to go searching in your library for something that has the same mana cost as it, and you put it into your hand. Transform, double face cards. It's, you know, you have to pay, pay the cost of what it says to transform it to then be able to transform it. I already said what transmute was. Type cycling is you pay that cost to then cycle for the search library for that specific type of card. That's an additional effect. Uh, undying is horsemanship for death. You, or no, it's a kicker ability. You the kicker cost of having it die get the effect of putting a one one counter on it. Uh, there's another version of that because minus one minus one counter on it. Um, unearth is from the graveyard. You pay its kicker cost, its unearth cost, to then get the effect of putting it. Um, from your graveyard on, into play, it gains haste and you sacrifice it at the end of turn. Unleash, you may have it enters one one counter. You choose that mode, that kicker cost, and then it either enters with one one counter on it or it doesn't. Vanishing is a. You pay the kicker cost putting that many vanishing counters on it, and then each time it ticks down until eventually the last one is removed and the card is sacrificed. It's the, the additional effect. Ward is horsemanship. It can be sometimes targeted if you choose to pay more mana, which is like an opponent's kicker cost. Eh? Wither is deals damage to uh, deals damage to a creature. It gets the form minus one, minus one counters on it. That's kicker. Be, uh, you attack and are blocked as the kicker cost and the or deal the damage. And the effect is they get minus one, minus one counters on it. Uh... Bro, are these even... Oh, some of these exist. Oh my god. What? The shroud is discontinued? What? There's no way. I... Let's breathe through these. Addendum. Additional effects are cast during the control's main phase. Yep, this sounds like a kicker cost because you get an additional effect for casting it during main phase. Battalion. What? Um, gives an advantage whenever a creature attacks with at least two creatures. A kicker cost of attacking with at least two other creatures. Blood rush, temporary boost to an attacking creature. Uh, it's the combat trick on a on a card. It's an alternate cost. Channel, discard the cost to yield a specific effect. You discard it for that effect. So, that's a kicker cost. Chroma, uh, specific mana symbols in specific zones. So, it cares about mana being spent. Kicker cost of playing with different colored mana domain is having basic land types among lands they control that's a kicker cost of having different ones and then you get an additional effect for it enrage is whenever that creature is dealt damage kicker cost of having it be dealt damage favorite hour additional ability if controlled by a player with five or less life kicker cost of having five or less life get the additional effect Controls a creature with power four or more. Uh, so kicker cost of having a creature with power four or more, and you get an additional effect. Grandeur, discard another card named that. Oh, that's someone from yeah, F future site. You have to have something already out and one of them in your hand as well, and you may discard it to get an additional effect for something whatever. That sounds like kicker. Uh, Hellbent, if no cards in hand, then you can play it for something else. So kicker cost having new cards in hand. 
heroic is the cost of targeting something with heroic you get additional effect that's it's whatever it says for heroic imprint they it is imprinted onto a card uh right yeah it you have to put it on the card as its kicker cost to then get the additional effect of the imprint joins forces i don't even know you contribute to it you usually by paying mana oh other people can pay the kicker cost fun kinship well cards with kinship the, the check at the beginning of controllers upkeep the top card of that player's library shares a creature type with it wow kicker cost of revealing top card of the library and if it shares the kinship ability maybe reveal it for a bonus effect it's a bonus effect cool landfall playing land you get an effect land uh kicker metal craft by having a lot of artifacts it constantly checks the kicker and then eventually gets additional effect morbid creature died this turn that's the kicker cost you get an additional effect uh target one permanent but all effect all permanents the same type that share a color with it uh -huh. the target one permanent but effect all permanents the same type that share all right kicker cost of targeting that creature the effect targets every other creature that show permanent that shares the same type of the same raid uh attack the player they're if their controller attacked the turn they are played yes so you pay the pay the effect of having attacked that turn to get the additional effect of whatever the raid effect is rally give them the ability uh with rally triggers whenever an ally yeah ally enters that's kicker cross you get the additional effect of whatever it says sweet um, can be strengthened by returning any number of lands of a single basic land type to their owner's hand that's the kicker cost and then you get the effect of whatever it says threshold is by having cards in your graveyard seven or more i believe uh, yeah seven or more cards in your graveyard you get that effect so kicker cost of having all those in the graveyard undergrowth benefiting the number of creatures in the player's graveyard kicker cost of having cards in your graveyard discontinued banding that sucks we already talk about banding uh, Barry is just destroy its kicker because pay the cost of having the creature die and then the effect of it's in the graveyard now. Uh, fear is the, what is it? Can't be blocked by black or artifact, except by black or artifact creatures. That's horsemanship. Intimidate is also horsemanship. Uh, land home that seems dumb we're just gonna skip that one uh land walk is horsemanship can only well, can't be blocked if the opponent has that certain type of land out phasing is horsemanship gets around different spells being able to be targeted on that to fierce protection obviously is the ultimate horsemanship because they literally can't do anything to you uh regenerate what Instead of being destroyed, the vermin becomes tapped and removed from combat. Whoa! That sounds like horsemanship for damage. Shroud is horsemanship from all spells and things. And I believe that's it. Wow, that took me a second. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm kind of tired through all this. I had a rough night last night. But if you have any questions on which... Uh, which ones of these if you want more clarification on which ones are kicker and horsemanship please let me know down in the comments also while you're down there make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite keyword or something i don't know but just like that i'll see you guys in the next video